the treatment of addiction using TMS is very, very new. Mm -hmm. um, and there really isn't enough data to know how much treatment or if an opiate addict or a cocaine or an alcohol addict would get different treatments. We don't know a lot about addiction. We know where to stimulate, we know how to stimulate, right. but um, how many sessions is not known and the long-term follow-up at this point is not known. Now, the third thing you mentioned was the addictive personality. Right. And, and that's another large controversy in and of itself. Mm -hmm. There are predispositions for addiction. Mm -hmm. And uh, research done by Dr. Shuckett has shown that some people inherit a gene for less sensitivity to alcohol, which does predict that they will, they're more likely to be an alcoholic if they drink, only if they drink. And other data has shown that novelty seeking uh, and uh, the reward deficit syndrome where people get bored easily and they like new things and they like excitement, that those people tend to try things more and get addicted faster. Um, but in my opinion, um, once a person has the addiction, once those changes have occurred in a part of the brain called the nucleus accumbens of the basal ganglia, um, it doesn't reverse. TMS doesn't reverse that. Um, it, it can reduce the importance of that network. It can reduce the cravings and the impulsivity. Um, but that's there. And no matter how it got there, um, it's in my opinion, it's the same. 